this is lovely lovebird designs. This is a tutorial for a fuzzy or hairy caterpillar and these are different species that I've made. This one is just regular teal and purple. I just recreated it. It's just a colors that I like and I made an imaginary uh, caterpillar and these ones are purple, blue, and yellow jellies. And these four are real ones that I tried to recreate. This is an American Dagger Moth, which is all yellow. This one is a white Hickory Tussock Moth, which is white on the sides and black on the top. And you can see the difference that I put. I cut these bands a little bit shorter, so they're a bit more fuzzier. And these are longer, so they're a bit more hairier. This is a Woolly Bear Moth which is black in the front, black in the rear, and brown in the middle. And this one is a really cool orange one with black um, on the for the projections. And it's an oleander moth. So the middle core section, because you can see this a little bit better because these are short hairs, is around 20 bands. Depending on how hairy or less hairy you want your, your caterpillar to be, just grab a handful of bands. Each one of these little knots is four bands on the top, so you have around five knots all together, so it's around 20. And then I have around four on the sides, which are two bands each, and that's around tw 10. So around 20 for this too. It's around 40 for the hair projections. And uh, you need around three bands for the head and around the two bands for the tail area. So the rear. So let's get started. I'm going to make a woolly bear, which is this one. I really like how it came out. So I'm going to use black and brown. You just need a rainbow loom, straight configuration, arrows pointing down. And we're first going to make the head. Now, depending on what moth you want to make or caterpillar, you can pick out whatever colors you'd like. Like this one, I used white as the midsection. You can see the underneath, it's all white. And we're going to do the hairs at the end. So, depending on what you want, and then you just put the colors that you want. And you can see this one, I did every other with the teal and the blue and the purple. So I'm going to do this one right here which is black and then brown and then black. So let's get started. It's going to be three bands for the head. For all the caterpillars it's always three bands for the head. So now I'm going to go to black which is double bands and place it on your loom right here. Then we're going to grab another set of double black and put it on a diagonal. Okay, now I'm going to go into the brown part of the moth, which is going to be also double black. I mean double brown, sorry. Right there. Another double brown. And then another set of double browns. And now we're going to go into the black section. So it's all double. So black right here. Another black here. I'm going to go to another last section of double black. And then we're going to do a diagonal which connects these two pins. Okay, so this is what your body looks like, which is, this is the underneath part. And now we're going to start doing the hair on the top. So we're going to start with just the capping band for the end. I'm going to use black and 
It's a little bit different. I'm going to do a double, then wrap it around your hook just two times, just like that. So I'm going to do it again. Here's one and two. Then I'm going to take four bands. Now, depending on how much hair or cilia you want on your caterpillar, you can make it very fluffy like this one, which I'm going to use four bands for the top row and two on the sides. Or you can do two on the top row and two on the sides, or however you be creative and see how what you want your caterpillar to look like. But I'm going to use four and I place the four bands right here. Then I take my double bands and place it on top, just like this. Okay? Then I'm going to place my finger inside here so you don't lose it. Place your the other part of the four bands on the hook, just like this. Then we're going to make a slip knot. So pull the right side, this one closest to your hand, right on top over the hook, so it looks like that. And pull taut, and you have a little knot right here. Now you're going to place that right here. Okay, and that is your end capping band. Okay, now we're going to work on the hair that goes on top. So I'm going to make this section black. So I'm going to do another four, take a single this time instead of a double. Put it on your hook two times. Then I'm going to take four bands again. You can put two bands, you can put three bands, you can put one band. So if I want to do four, because I want it extra fuzzy. So place it on your hook, just like that. One of my bands just broke. So I'll just get another one. And I'm going to place that single right on top, just like that. Place my finger in here so I don't lose it. Place this back on the hook. And make a little slip knot, pull it over, and it looks just like that. Now to make the side bands, this is how I make them. So this little double, this single right here, you're going to make a triangle. The fluffy part, the four bands will be right here. It can be on any pin, but it's going to be a triangle. Okay, just like that. So we want it's a little the triangle to be longer on the bottom, and then your four bands are in here, and then shorter here. I'm gonna make a double slip knot right here and a double slip knot right here. So look very look carefully. I'm putting my hook underneath, then it's going to go around the band, place the other end on top, so now it's together, and pull this one over to make a knot. Now I'm going to place this little knot right here. Pull it taut, and there you go, there you have one side band hair right there. So we're going to do another one right over here. Okay, I'm going to go underneath with the hook, grab the two bands. So now it looks like this. Pull this over. Bring that little knot to the edge right here, and I can pull taut. Okay, so now I can take this off, and I'm going to place the middle four bands in the middle, and the two.
two bands on the side. Okay, so I just made the black part on the end, these sections. Now I'm going to make the brown part in the middle. So we're going to do the same triangle uh, banding right over here with brown, and I'm going to do black over here. So let's start with the brown, and once again we're going to do a single, put it around the hook those two times, then we're going to take four browns, okay here's my four, put it on my hook, put that little single on there so it looks like this, place it on the hook and make this into a slip knot. So I'm going to pull this over. Okay, I have my top part. So now we're going to go back down here and make that triangle again. So I'm going to place it right here. Okay, now I'm going to do two browns. Place my hook underneath. Grab them, place my hook inside so it looks like that, pull this over, and pull taut in the corner. Okay, so now I have my little side. I'm going to make another one over here. Two. And you can do these any colors you want. There's so, nature is wonderful. And all these caterpillars come in beautiful colors. Make a little slip knot, pull it over here, pull to it, and you have that. So it looks like a triangle. See that? Place it just as so. The two coming out the side and the one in the front. We're going to do another brown. So I'm going to take my single, wrap it around twice, then I'm going to take four more bands, put it on top, just like that, and pull the right side over, just repeating the same steps taut, place it back on the loom to make that little triangle, okay, I need another two brown, put my hook underneath, grab it, pull it to the side just like this, Then we have a side. Need another double. Pull it over, make that little slip knot, and pull taut. Now, if you see that it comes off of the loom and it doesn't really look like a triangle. You can move this over a little bit, you know, just move the knots over so it looks and looks like the two double bands are on the side and the four is in the middle. Okay, pull that one up. So now we're going to do our last one with black. So I'm going to take a single, go over two times, then I'm going to take four bands, just like before. Okay, pull that over. Then make your little slip knot. Pull taut. Place it back on the loom. just like that. Now we're going to do the double black. Pull it to the corner. Ok, 
Okay, now another double black. This band broke, but that's okay because we're going to trim it later with the scissor because we're all going to cut these at the end when we start at the end of the looping. So this is your layout with the double bands on the side and the four in the middle. And depending on what caterpillar you want to make, it could be two in the middle, one in the middle, however many, however you want fluffy your caterpillar. So now we can start looping. And we're going to grab this diagonal band first. We're going to move this right here, and we're going to grab this band. Okay, it's a little bit loose because it is a double band there. It went around twice, so hold it down. There's a reason for that too, which I'll show you. Keep this now to the left. So we're moving, we're looping this to the left, keeping this on the right. Now we're pulling this one to the right and looping this forward. So we need this in the middle. Okay, so it looks just like that. So now we're going to loop forward, and I'm grabbing a black one, and now it's brown. Another brown, and then this black one. forward. Okay, so we finished looping this all the way up to this pin. Do not loop this yet. Now we have to loop the left side. So we already looped this and now we're going to grab this black. Okay, now there's brown. Try to keep the bands in the middle. Keep them in place. Keep the double on the sides and the quads in the middle. Okay, so we're going to move that little one out of the way and we're going to grab a black and connect it. So keep that four right in the middle. So now this is the head area, and we're going to move forward. Remember that's three bands right here. So now we can replace some antenna, and if you don't want antenna, you can just use this as a little slip knot and then cut it at the end, so it's just a single. Place your hook through, and make another little slip knot. Okay, so this is your layout. Make sure, like this one went up, upside down, so we want to pull that back up. So we have all the little hairs up, the ones on the side are on the side. Okay, and now we can take it off the loom. Try to do this slowly so that none of the hairs get tangled up. Snake. 
put your loom to the side and you have a little curls right now, the back area, it lays like this. We put the double capping band right here. So we want it flat just like this. So the fluffy part is on the top and it's flat here. And you can pull these out. Okay, pull the top out. If the knots are too big, you can make them tighter and just pull them taut. You can hide them within the caterpillar body by just pulling them taut tighter too. So now I want to cut these bands. And also one more thing, this caterpillar, you can see a little bit of the side bands here. If you want to grab, because depending on how you want your caterpillar to look, these bands lay more on the, on the ground. If you want them a little bit higher, and I'll show you really quickly how to do that, you can grab, go underneath this stitch right in the middle, grab your bands and pull them up higher. So we can pull this brown up higher, just go right inside the stitch. Okay, so here's brown. Just go into the stitch and pull them out. Now here's another brown. I'm going to go into this stitch, the next set. You don't have to do this extra step, um, step but if you want the little hair is a little bit higher off the ground, you can do this. So now we have black for the final. And I'm just going to go into this little brown stitch and pull it up. Okay, so you can see the difference. You can look right here and it's only like one band through. And then on this side, which we didn't do, it's still the double. So I'm going to pull those stitches through. So we're going to work on the black first. And you don't have to do this. Pull it up. Then I have brown. Pulling them all up so it's a little higher off the ground. Here's another brown. And finally the black. Okay, so now we come to the fun part of doing a little hairstyle. So I'm going to make it like this one. So I'm just going to Take my scissor, and if you're a kid, please ask an adult to use scissor or ask your, your an adult to cut these for you. So we're gonna. This is the antenna area. We're gonna also the antenna area. The band looks like this. It could be gone down like this or down even more. You want to pull, put your hook right through, and make sure to pull the bottom stitches like that. So the antenna part is up. So it looks like this. So it's more up and it's not straight. So now we can start, cut the antenna. You can make no antenna and just cut it toward the knot, which is a little shorter, just like that. And now I'm just cutting through the loops to make it more fuzzy. Just cutting through the loops, the top loops, just like that. Okay, so that side's done. Okay, so if you want your caterpillar extra hair, you can keep them like this. 
depending on what species you're making. Or I want to give him a little bit of haircut, so I'm going to trim off a little bit. All the different species have different lengths. So I'm going to call this one a hairy caterpillar because the hair is a little bit longer. And the other ones I have are a little bit more fuzzier. They're shorter. Okay. So I want to cut a little bit more on this right side because it's more even. and see how you like them. So this is around the same length as this one. And I'm going to just throw these away. And we have our little caterpillars. So these are the woolly bear caterpillars. And these are the two that I made up, which are the teal with the purple with the teal with the purple. And here's jelly our woolly bears there. This is my oleander, which is the orange with the black, and it's very short. We cut it really short. And this is my white hickory tusak moth, which is white on the sides and just black on the top. And it's white over here too. He's really cool looking. And my American dagger moth, which is short, so he's a fuzzy. So I call the short ones fuzzies and the longer ones the hairies. So I hope you like this tutorial. Please subscribe to Lovely Lovebird Designs. Bye-bye.